Travelers, and welcome back. So today, we're going to continue on the Titania stuff. I'm uh, going to have to check on what I've been doing with my store. My quarry is hit one of those uh, underdark temples, or whatever you want to call them. You get a lot of the colored frequency bricks and wood and everything else, so kind of causing some issues. But yeah, I've got most of it sorted out, and have to check up on it in case it hits a different color, but at this point I've almost gotten every color, well I have gotten every color of wood, almost every color of stone, but it's still a hassle when I go to get, oh, photobomb, uh, when I go to get stuff and check on it and find out it's full because something new has come in in large quantities and haven't been able to get it sorted yet. So, I logged on the other day, you know, and, and for those of you watching today, Merry Christmas, or, you know, this is going to come out after the holiday, but still, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, uh, you name it, Happy whatever the holiday is, and a Happy New Year. Hope everything finds you and yours well. But I logged on the other day, and I had found that I was left a gift. Uh, one of the members on the server who does watch my videos uh, noticed that I was starting Batania, and they had done some work. And they gave me four seeds of every kind of botania flower, as well as the puzzle needed, and a book. So the book was just saying that they were watching my video, and they gave me everything to help me get started with planting. So at first, I was going to go ahead and get this, and I thought, well, I'll just set it up on there. So I've got this hole right here started to dig. So the first thing we got to do is get some puzzle in here. Because basically it's big enough that I should be able to plant every of those seeds. Assuming I don't double, pl double place like that. I'll have to go get more. But you know, some problems with my right click on my mouse. I don't know if it's just old or if it needs to be deep cleaned. And in preparation for this, I actually kind of shrunk... Oh, I've got a whole bunch of dead people in there. Uh, shrunk this pool area. Uh, getting quite a bit of fish. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but... I'm saving it either way. And there's number two. I think I'm going to need another stack. And number three... So the biggest thing we're going to do... Oh, no, no, no. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're not, no, what are you doing? Ugh. Okay. Didn't know that was going to happen. So let's go get some sticks so we can start getting the planter set up. That was totally not expected. Uh, oh, you know what? I have plenty of sticks over here in my storage. Sticks. I know I have them. There they are. So let's go over here. Apparently, I'm going to need some more puzzle. I'm going to have to dig this out. That was such a waste of puzzle. Tell me it's going to grow even if I have. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, my goodness.
That's going to be a problem. And potentially a bug. So that's such a big foot. Now let's do white. And apparently it's going to grow even. All right, I've got an idea. And that's not what I wanted to do either. All right, so let it be known to those of you watching that if you're going to do this in this particular biome, that apparently, this grass will spread even to other grass. That's not supposed to happen. Actually, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. But I need to... I think I will go and... Also speak to Infinity Raider and see if that's something that he can change. Because that is a bit of a nuisance. Get out, or move, or something. Oh, good grief! And abusing all the pods will just to try and keep this from... Uh, let's see, where are those colored stone bricks? Down here. Let's go with... That one. Let's see if this will help keep it from spreading. I would assume now that it won't spread.
All right, got that part done. Oh, let's go with the gray one. We'll kind of keep them in some kind of color order. Let's see what happens. Uh, then we'll go with black. And then I'm going to use one of the uh, Ancient Warfare. Uh, farmers to harvest and I think with this it does leaves is what it does which the petals are what you need the most anyway with the mod so it's not like it's a bad thing And there we go. So for now, we're just going to let these grow on their own. But being that they're 10, 10, 10 across the board, that is going to make some very efficient growth. Uh, guess I'm kind of liking the whole border, but at least lesson learned. Again. If you're going to plant podzel, make sure you have some kind of border between it, whatever other grass has grown in the area, because apparently, however podzel is coated, it gets overrun by whatever it's next to. Uh, let see, did I have anything else in here? Uh, just the dirt, some extra podzel, and the book. So let's go ahead and take this down. And go put what I can away. Ah, see what I mean by it gets filled up? So what do we have? Uh, stairs, there, there. That, another trap, another changed book. More ball plates. More stairs. Display pedestal. Good deal. Books. No, put that away. Okay. What I've been doing is manually just kind of moving stuff around. Uh, I just put it in there for now. Yeah. These we're going to toss. Same thing with uh, that. Artifacts I actually put away. If it's none armor. Here, is it here? Yeah. It's armor. We we'll put it in here. And I'll have to get that pedestal and bring it back and put it in there. But for now, and let's see that there puzzle. And it's raining. Let's see if I have that clay pattern stamp yet. Uh, lettuce. Yes, I do. That one can get tossed. I 
Oh, and almost forgot. Got so busy doing the. Are you kidding me? It spread even. Uh, get some more. It should not be spreading. Because of this thing? It is. Now, we are going to fix that right now. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Okay, that should be good. Because originally I was going to put those flowers, that uh, jaded amaranth, over here to create flowers, but now that I have those seeds, I don't think I need to, because you really only need the flowers for the petals, so. That will work just fine for me. Alright, uh, so what I was going to say, before I was so interrupted by myself on that, uh, one of the things I've done is I've kind of automated mana production. So I've got it set up so that this has a comparator. Uh, so when this is full, power's on, it won't drop. Uh, if there is not enough mana, then the power's on, and then this will pulse out. I just used AE. It'll dump out about... Depending on the, the server situation, five to eight pieces of coal, which is perfect for here. And it'll drop. It won't drop anymore once it's gone, you know, and so forth and so on until this either shuts it off or if there's coal sitting there. Uh, went ahead and got the setup for the Elvish uh, Elfheim. So that way I could upgrade my mana spreaders. Uh, and I'll show you what I've done uh, downstairs. Oh, and I upgraded my Petal Apothecary, because I wanted a different color one instead of gray. So down here, right now, not much down here. This is going to be some of the automated stuff. Uh, I've got some mana storage. This is what runs the brew or the the brewing and the uh, yeah the other one. And this is what I'm going to use to set up for some automation for AE for uh, crafting, because things like uh, nether quartz can be doubled, and you can turn flesh into leather, and you know, those kind of things, so they can be done here, and what I'll end up doing is putting a item node with world interaction, so that as it falls, it'll suck up what's in there. Uh, and of course, this is to refill that pool, and then this is just mass storage. Uh, eventually I'll have some other hidden mechanics, and probably some other, uh, mana generation types, but right now... The eight flowers I've got over there seem to be working just fine. Uh, I've expanded to add in one more ring of each of the wood and the stone. Uh, I'm going to actually automate that with AE too. I've got some ideas from what I've seen from people doing. And I also am... Well, we're going to go ahead and start working on the... Oh, excuse me. Start working on the... Uh, 
ancient warfare farming. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at what I need to make. It's been a minute since I've made those. Uh, quarry, control, mushroom farm, tree farm, animal farm, reed farm, crop farm. So that is going to be planks, chest, Oh, and some wooden gears. So let's try this. Got quite a few of those, so we'll just take some of those. And leave the chest. And what else did they have on there? Uh, wooden gears. So let's see if we can make some wooden gears. Wooden gears are... Well, let's see if it'll let me do it. I know some of this stuff has to be done in the Ancient Warfare crafting table. Some of it doesn't. So we're going to find out. Two, so I should have made two. So we got that. And we need iron. Looks like I'm going to have to make it in the Ancient Warfare crafting table, so let's just grab all this. <laughs> there we go. So the first step. And we're going to go ahead and set this right here. First thing we're going to do is sides, no, nope. bounds. And we're going to go, okay. Oh, and we're going to shrink that. And then we'll get another bounds upgrade so we can actually extend it out the full length of this farm. So, and I think I might have one of those already stored up. So let's go take a look. That's one of those things I think I put in here. Uh, I could have sworn I saw something like that. That's how I'm thinking about it, because that's going to get moved into the chest. Uh, oh, there it is. I see. There it is. And I had a nine in there, too, so thought I had him. Okay, so we need to come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Say 11. Perfect. And did not want to go swimming. Okay, now we need power. So, this is the cheaty part. Um, hmm. Maybe not. 
Do I have any more of those left? I have to think about it. And I don't know if I want to use that for power. Since it's here. And then just move... You know what? I think we will. Perfect. Right, and that means I'm going to have to run this underneath. That's a junction. That's a, so this will have to become a distributor. Distributor. No, I don't have to make one. Uh, torque cap distributor. So that's steel gears, which is steel. Okay, so let's see if we have any steel, since that looks like that's what we need. Um, I guess where I saw I had a block of steel, maybe? Oh, there's steel ingot. Thought I had gotten a block of steel. That's going to be enough for. I'm going to need a lot more steel. Um, trying to remember, it's been a minute. Well, that didn't help. Oh, well, look at that. 